Today I'm going to be doing a food processor version of my traditional pizza dough. What I've done is I've taken my traditional dough recipe and I've cut it in half. So let's go over the ingredients. A half a cup of warm water and my water is at 110 degrees Fahrenheit. One and a half cups of all-purpose flour. A half a teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of sugar. A half a teaspoon of yeast and one tablespoon of vegetable oil. So those are the ingredients, so let's get started. All right, first thing I'm gonna do, pour in our water, just like that. I am gonna put in a little bit of flour. I always like to do that, just at the beginning. And I am gonna get my salt in there. And then our yeast, just get that right in there like that and then our sugar. There we go. And now, get the top on. We'll get that going. Just on low speed, I just want to mix that up a little bit. Just like that. Okay, that's good. Very, very nice. I'll get our oil in there as well. There we go. Okay. And then I'm going to get all the flour in there. There we go. I just find when you put in a little bit of flour at the beginning, it really helps out mixing the, uh, the yeast around properly so that I, I really want to get it, you know, well proportioned throughout the whole mixture. Okay. And then I'm going to get this on low. I'm just going to let that go. And you'll see how quickly this dough comes together. And it's already, it's already forming a ball. just show you that you can already see that it's a ball so there we go so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna let this run for a couple of minutes I want this to knead a little bit so I'm gonna let this run for about three or four minutes and then I'll come back all right it's been you know three or four minutes I didn't exactly count it but there we go and I just want to show you this dough so what I'll do is I'll just zoom in a little bit so that you can actually see it in the bowl Alright, I just wanted to show you a little closer up how nice this dough is. Look at that, how beautiful that dough is. Perfectly kneaded dough, and that is ready now for a bowl. So, I've got a bowl here. I'm going to spray this with Pam, and I'll be back in a second. Alright, there we go. Grab my dough, get it in there. So there's our dough, and now I'm just going to spray the top as well with some Pam cooking spray. So there we go. And now I'm just going to place a tea towel over this, and I'm just going to let it rest and double in volume. The reason why I'm putting cooking spray on the top is that I want to keep the dough moist. You always want to have your dough moist. If the, if the dough ball becomes dried out, it will not want to, to rise correctly. It'll inhibit its growth. So you always want to make sure that it's actually moist. If you don't want to use cooking spray, you can get a little spray bottle, say like at the dollar store, fill it with water and just spray the top. And just check it every 15 minutes or so. So as, when you start seeing it dry out, just give it a little spritz and that will do the same kind of thing. So there we go. So I'm gonna go let this rest and I'll see you later. All right, this is about an hour and 15 minutes later, and here is my beautiful pizza dough. You can see it really rose really well. So I'm just gonna punch that down. I have a really well seasoned pizza tray here, and what I've done is I've just sprayed it with some cooking spray, and I'm gonna grab my beautiful dough and just pop it right on there. And what's nice about this is that it's already a circle, so I don't have to start you know, changing the shape of it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get all of this spread right out. So I'm going to keep doing this and I'll come back in a couple of minutes. 
You could use a rolling pin, by the way, but I'm just going to use my hand today. I'm just going to push it all down and just keep going like this. So I'll finish this off and I'll come back. I'm just almost finished here. So that looks good. All right, so I've got some homemade pizza sauce. You can find this recipe on my channel if you're interested in that. And I'll just get that all around. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna be using some pepperoni, so I'm gonna go cut that up and I'll be back in a second. Okay, I just cut up a little bit of pepperoni. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm just going to evenly spread all of this all over the pizza. You do have two options. You can put pepperoni underneath the cheese or on top of the cheese. Or you can actually do both, which is even better. So I'm going to continue doing this and I'll be back in a second. All right, so that's good. Perfect. Okay, now our next step our mozzarella cheese. So I'm going to go get my cheese and I'll be back in a second. All right, I just pushed it a little closer. It wasn't exactly in the middle of the camera. Okay, so I just got myself some uh, mozzarella, a nice uh, little block of uh, cheese here. And I'm just going to start getting this on. You can either buy this in a block or you can buy it already grated. Some stores charge more if it's already grated. Some don't, depends on the store. So I'm just gonna continue doing this and I'll be back in a minute or so. And there is my oven, 475 degrees. A nice hot oven for this pizza. Okay, that's a little sparse, so I'm just gonna put a little bit more on there. Get it as even as possible, that looks pretty good. There we go, okay. So I've got green pepper that I just cut up, okay. And you can cut it up any way you want. You can cut it into, you know, you can dice it so you have tiny, tiny pieces. Or you can just do it like this, any which way. There are no rules. You can add anything else you want on here. You could dice up some ham, do, do um, bacon, Add some olives, anything you want. There, I want to put a little bit more green pepper. So I'm just going to just grab my green pepper. I'll just do a couple more slices here. There we go. And just get that on. How's that look? Pretty good. So that's ready for the oven. So 475 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to pop that in until it's golden brown. I'll tell you how long I baked it uh, when I get back. So off to the oven. All right, my pizza just came out of the oven about 30 seconds ago. It was in for a total of nine minutes at 475 degrees Fahrenheit. And there we go. Beautiful. So beautiful pizza made at home. There you go inexpensive. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Oh, that smells good. All right, let's grab a little piece. Just like that. And look at that. Beautiful. Mm -mm. Yum.